beautiful day out here. It is Tuesday, the 27th of December, 2022. And I bring to you today's daily devotion. And the title is, We Know His Ways. Glory to God. Matthew 13, verse 11 says, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Those who do not know God are quick to say, His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. But for us who are born again, His ways are our ways. Yes, we are born of Him. We are created in His image and His likeness. That means we look like Him. We function like Him. Moreover, we have the same life and nature with Him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 says, But we have the mind of Christ. He's given us His thoughts so we can think like Him. Ephesians 5 verse 1 tells us to imitate Him. Hallelujah. Recall the words of the Master in that same scripture. He said it's a heritage to know the mysteries of the kingdom. The description of his character is clearly unveiled to us in the scriptures. You can tell who he is. You can describe God by Jesus Christ. You know exactly what to expect of him. You can predict his response. He has revealed himself and his will to us through the written word and through the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, he showed his ways unto Moses. The only time he said, my ways are not your ways, and that's in Isaiah 55, 8-9, which some people quote out of context, was because Israel at the time walked away from God's ways. His desire is for our ways to correspond with his ways. He calls and invites us to walk in his ways. If he didn't show us his ways, how could we walk in sync with him? So, his ways are not mysterious. His ways are revealed to us in his word. If you know him as your father, he's not a mystery anymore. Yes, he's a mystery to the world and to those who do not know him. But we are family. We are his children. We live in his kingdom and we know his ways. Praise God. Matthew four eleven says, And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. And 1 Corinthians 2, 11 to 16 reads, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know those things that are freely given unto us of God, which things we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Glory to God. And if you may, join me for today's confession. As I study the word, the Father's heart, his thoughts, plans and purposes are unveiled to me. I have full, deep and clear knowledge of his will. I'm not confused about anything in life. His light is in my heart. And there's an unveiling of truth. Revelation is granted to me for a life of victory and unending praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you join me to make that confession, believing in your hearts the word that you spoke. And you can go ahead and check out our further reading again for yourself. Just a reminder, that's First Corinthians 2, verse 11 to 6. I read in the King James. You can check it out in a, a, a Noah translation. And also Mark 4, verse 11. Thank you for joining me to have a wonderful week ahead and God bless you.